You already know what time it is. When you see these bags come out, it's Christmas time. It's time to shop for Christmas at Bed the Body Works. And Hello all, it's Aunt V Elise here. Looking like your favorite Dominican auntie with my little my little wrap or my little scarf up. But um yeah. So I can't face to all the Dominicans who might be watching. But I have a great video to show you today because I know that of all the videos that I've recorded, the most popular one that y'all have been watching is the Bath and Body Works haul. And that lets me know that there are women out there like myself, because mm -hmm. I know these are amongst my favorite things to watch. Um, that, um, sorry, I'm getting a, a Yelp notification, which by the way, you guys should follow me on Yelp. Um, I'll have that subtitle below and the link below where you can add me as a friend on Yelp because, you know, I am going to be doing more food and beauty reviews on the richaunt.com. In fact, it's going to be a lot of rebranding re for that in general. So I'm really excited about it. I'm excited to incorporate it. a lot of my new, just new cool things in life. I can't wait to show you guys. I hope you like and, um, you know, find it inspirational and positive too. So, but back to the goodness, you know, the bath and body work called goodness. Yes. Let's start with my favorites, though. I love the Bath and Body Works candles. So, I just feel like their, their oils or whatever they use to make the candles are so strong that they can light up. If you have a one-bedroom or a studio apartment, it'll light the whole apartment up. If you have a small space, it'll light the whole space up. It just smells so good. And otherwise, you know, if you have a bigger space, buy more. I've already lit these candles <laughs> before this haul. I'm sorry. But the one that I gravitated to, granted, they had tons of holiday and seasonal scents that I can't wait to stock up on when they go on another sale. The one that I like is called Flannel. It's cute. It's got the little glittery sticker with the make it look like snow is glistening off of this huge evergreen tree made with essential oils. And let's see. It's made with orange peel and patchouli essential oils and notes of soft musk. To me, it's definitely not your average flannel scent because I work in construction. I'm a total flannel wearing girl because of the office I work at. But, um... It doesn't remind me of that crusty old man flannel, okay? It's definitely got a fresh scent, probably coming from that orange peel. And it's kind of reminds me of just clean laundry. And when you're me, that's a good smell. <laughs> oh, so I love, it's been lit, quite lit. And I love this smell. Sorry, very fresh. Orange peel and patchouli. That soft musk is good. I don't like it too loud. And this scent is my more seasonal scent. For all of my baker girls out there, you are going to love this. This is called Better Not Pout. My lights are so bright. Sorry. And it's got spiced gingerbread, vanilla icing, sparkling cinnamon, sugar, and fresh ground nutmeg. Basically, before I even read the bottom... I opened the candle up in the store and I smelled it and I was like, I asked everybody on Instagram, like, should I buy this? It smells like cookies. And then I see the bottom with the nutmeg, the sugar, the vanilla icing. I'm like, sugar cookies. Like, if you lit this up in your kitchen and they came in, people came in, you invited guests, they would think that you were baking. Like, oh my gosh, it smells wonderful. And for me, that's just a very comforting smell. Again, I don't gravitate to really strong seasonal pine cone, pumpkin, super cinnamon scents around holiday time. But, you know, I am a foodie. So anything that correlates to good food gives me good memories. So that's why I bought Better Not Pout because it's just such, such a sweet baking smell. It's enough, but it's not too much. But it will give your house a very good scent. Now, on to the aromatherapy stuff. I've got, for my first purchases, 
the happiness, which is bergamo and mandarin. Aroma therapy. And it gives you a happy scent. It's just like very jovial, very fresh, very fresh, orangey, citrusy to me. It's got a very citrus scent to it. And I guess that comes from the mandarin, mandarin oil. I would even say it's borderline lemony. But the body wash is perfect to wake you up. And I also got the body scrub too. I think I'm going to gift this. Uh-oh, it's sealed. I'm not even going to open it because I think I'm going to gift this to somebody I know who really like body scrub. It's really good to exfoliate with. And then I got another scent. I got the Recharge. I I don't know where what rock I've been staying under, but I've never smelled the Recharge. I'm so big on the stress relief smell, um, but this Recharge is pretty, pretty dope. Um, it's got sage and mint and I love sage because you know I light my sage up to rid of evil demons and keep the exes out of my house girl and then I've got um, it's got the mint so it's just like really refreshing it's got that kind of I don't know it's just for me I, I'm all about that vibe where it's like just relaxing and I get the recharge like this is perfect for me sage mint makes you recharge and make, makes you sit back and get your energy back up especially for you introverts like myself like you need to gather your thoughts and gather your mind after being out partying and doing all this holiday shopping and holiday partying and company parties and other people's company parties you like dang I'm tired it's it's I've been doing a lot of social activity. I got to get myself together. That's why you need the recharge, girl. You will recharge with this in the bathtub. And I got the um, aromatherapy recharge moisture butter. And oh my goodness. I sampled this in the store. I wonder if I opened it. No, I didn't open this one. I don't think I'm going to re-gift this one, though. I don't think I'm going to gift it, so I'm going to open it. I don't know if you can actually, I mean, what this is actually doing for you since I'm on, on an actual video. You're not going to be able to feel how soft this makes your skin. But in addition to the mint oil and the sage, it just makes your skin so freaking soft. Like, oh, uh, it is... I'm in Chicago. I don't know about you. I have dry prone skin. I'm prone to dry patches and eczema. Butter is what's needed on this skin. You can't just use regular lotion, regular oil. You got to moisturize and you got to seal. This stuff has it for you. Do it like this. Rub it in after you take a shower or a bath, preferably. It's bath season now because, you know, them, if you take two hot showers like me, and you take them multiple times a day, which you really shouldn't. Doctors advise against that because it, we really take more showers, they say. We dry our own skin out, which, you know, people with dry skin like myself shouldn't be doing. So take a bath. It's better for your skin and you still get clean if you have the time. But, yep. Yeah. So I think this pretty much sums up my haul for now. I'm surprised I don't have more. I did I threw these in. I got some little Disney. Um, my, my little niece and nephew love Disney. And so I bought these socks from Walgreens to wear around them when we do some pajama stuff together. And I, they just wound up in my Bath and Body Works bag. So uh, it's completely not Bath and Body Works related. But yeah, this is my haul. I hope you guys like. Stay tuned for some other hauls in the future because I'm going to keep shopping.